I'll show you some of the ways that you can use different textures and I'll start by uploading a few and I went to the inventory and in my inventory I'm going to click the plus sign which will give me the option to upload and I want to upload more than one so I'm going to go to a bulk upload and I want to move over to a different folder I want to go to my virtual materials images and I just put in two images that were simply clip art that I took from uh, PowerPoint and I'm going to open them both and as they become open I'll be given the option of whether I want to accept them they're being uploaded and when I do accept them I get charged 10 lindens for each one I do have some notifications now which shows that I did pay some money and I'll accept that because these are things I wanted and now I'll put a box out and on this box will bring in the textures that I just loaded so that you can get a perspective on how these textures will actually look now I'm going to move over to texture and I'm going to take out this texture and bring on a different one let me select this face I'm going to move this out of the way a bit. I just want one face. And I'll open textures. And I remembered now that I had uploaded something called floral. So I will search and sure, I have my floral as a PNG. I arbitrarily called it that because I wanted to show you a difference. And I'll accept that one first and I'll say OK. And let's take a look. Let me make it full bright and we'll zip in and see how this looks close up and when you zoom in you'll see that because it was a PNG it actually saved some of the spaces as transparent and my floral arrangement is transparent with colors on top of it now let me go over and find the other one and now I'm going to take the JPEG one that I created and I will leave that one out here and this one actually fills in those transparent areas with white spaces so there are a number of different type of textures that you can upload artists and builders use a variety of these techniques and the different types of textures if you notice I have a lot of information here but when you zoom in you'll see that the land impact is only one now sometimes you really want to create a completely blank texture and you have something known as default transparent that was provided by the Second Life Library and when you have a transparent background you'll see this checkerboard effect if I locate and load that I have something that happens to be uh, completely transparent and many artists and authors who create different types of um, textures will use that to great effect now one of the things that's changing a lot in the world of virtual reality is ownership and today when you buy textures from artists they retain the ownership and some of the differences between open source islands and Second Life Islands relate to the ownership of texture so it's a growing and important field trying to save the intellectual property of artists and so you'll find that there's a lot you can do with building if you pay attention to the type of textures and the way that you use them